Let's do this. Hello my friends and welcome to Jimmy Draws Art. I'm Jimmy Dragon. In this video, I will be stepping away from my comfort zone and doing a collab with another YouTube artist known as Greenfly. I really love his artwork, so when he reached out and wanted to collab, I instantly said yes. I think it is amazing he doesn't have more subscribers. The quality of his art looks fabulous. He does some very high quality videos and I find his content fun to watch. With this collab we discussed many things. We went back and forth with emails and trying to find a good idea on what we could do. In the end we agreed to do a mashup. We agreed on a creature, an object, and a feeling to add to our final drawing. I sent him his three topics to draw so be sure to check that out after watching this video. Link will be at the bottom of this video. Now let me introduce Greenfly, where he gives his rundown on the three prompts he has given me to draw in my drawing. Take it away, Mr. Greenfly. Hey, Jimmy Draws Art. It's Greenfly here. Thank you so much for doing this collab with me. I am looking forward to seeing what you come up with the three prompts that I'm going to be giving you. Of course, you'll be giving three to me as well. So, the three that, of course, we agreed on was character, object, and feeling. So let's get on with the creature, shall we? The creature that I had kind of found when I was actually looking through uh, a book that I actually have. It's called Dungeons and Drawings. Actually quite a handy book to have, especially when you're just having a look at some kind of creatures and stuff like that and maybe get a bit of inspiration. And while I was flicking through the book, I kind of stumbled upon the creature Kelpie, which is pretty much a horse. I think it's like a water kind of horse. But it's also scary and kind of, I think it's like a flesh-eating horse. Sounds great, fantastic, very horrifying. But I think you can do something quite well with that. And now for the object. The object that I actually stumbled upon was, I've actually been recently re-watching some old shows and it got me thinking. I had to watch those old shows on a VHS once I did own it. And I thought, wait a minute, that would be a good object using a VHS for the character. I think you can do some very cool things with a VHS. Obviously you've got the tape bit and the other bits like the kind of the wheels and all that. I think you can come up with some really cool things merging those two bits together. And of course, feeling. What is the overall feeling of this piece and the character and all that? The feeling that I've picked is triumphant. Now, obviously we've got the kind of the dark with the VHS, old school, then we've got something in the scary kind of horse. So I thought, why well, let's have this horse feeling triumphant. It feels great, it feels awesome. And it's just, you know, it got that good feeling of like, I'm, I'm ready, I feel like I can take over the world or something <laughs> like that. But I believe that you can do something really cool with those three prompts. And I'm looking forward to taking the three prompts that you give me and making something really awesome as well. So I shall look forward to actually watching your side of the video and seeing what you come up with. So thank you again for the collab and I'm looking forward to seeing what you draw. So I'll see you later my friend and uh, good luck. Well then, those are my three prompts for my drawing. I'll be drawing a Kelpie and somehow incorporating VHS tapes and a triumphant feeling to this drawing. Well, this is a challenge and this is definitely something out of my comfort zone. I never would have come up with this on my own. This is going to be one challenging drawing and video. Well, first off, what is a Kelpie? Well, according to Wikipedia, it states a Kelpie or water Kelpie is a shape-shifting spirit inhabiting lochs in Scottish folklore. It is usually described as a black horse-like creature able to adopt human form. Almost every sizable body of water in Scotland has an associated Kelpie story, but most extensively reported is that of Loch Ness. The Kelpie has counterparts across the world, such as the Germanic Nixie, the Weewim of South America, if I am pronouncing that correctly, and the Australian Bunyip. The origins of narratives about the creatures are unclear, but the practical purpose of keeping children away from dangerous stretches of water and warning young women to be wary of handsome strangers have been noted in secondary literature. Kelpies have been portrayed in their various forms in art and literature, including two 30 meter high, 100 foot steel sculptures in Falkirk, Scotland. The Kelpies built and completed in October of 2013. 
A common theme in the tales is of several children clamoring onto the creature's back while one remains on the shore. Usually a little boy, then he pets the horse, but his hand sticks to its neck. In some variations, the lad cuts off his fingers or his hand to free himself. He survives, but the other children are carried off and drowned with only some of their entrails being found later. Sounds like a wonderful eating flesh horse indeed. Thank you, Mr. Greenfly. So for my drawing, I will be sticking to the theme with the children. In other places, I found stories where they say the children survives if they are able to tame the creature. Now, I have to somehow incorporate that with the VHS tapes and the feeling of triumph. Well, this is going to be an interesting drawing indeed. Well, let's get on with the drawing. It's been a good minute since I have used my digital tablet. I decided to give this drawing a try by going all digital. I started out by drawing the horse. Now my experience in drawing animals is pretty much non-existent. So where do I turn to learn how to draw a horse? Well, YouTube, of course. I found a couple of drawing tutorials on how to draw a horse. One drawing tutorial I found that was really nice was by Mark Criley. He really went into detail on how to draw the face, but I felt that much detail wasn't needed in this drawing. Plus, it's not really my style. My style, I feel, is definitely more of a cartoon look to my drawings. People often have said that my work looks like the old late 80s or early 90s style of animation. I was heavily influenced by stuff from that era, so I guess it would show in my drawing style you see here. Well, here is where my brain is going with this drawing. The horses offered the VHS tapes as something to eat instead of human flesh. The VHS tapes are so good to him that he is more satisfied. He will never eat human flesh again. Crazy, right? Yeah, honestly, it was an idea for my wife. I decided to run with that idea. I was pretty stumped on how to bring the VHS tapes into this drawing. So the Kelpie is eating a pile of old VHS tapes in this drawing. Guess that's one way to get rid of those old tapes. And finally, the children. Bringing in the children was interesting. I too wasn't sure how to draw this. I once again went online to learn how to draw children riding on a horse. Yes, this drawing was quite a few steps out of my comfort zone. The children were feeding the horse the VHS tapes in the attempt to tame the creature. Now this is where the triumph is going to come into this drawing. Both the children will feel like they tamed the beast and can ride it safely without it eating their flesh. Plus the horse will feel wonderful that he found something even more tastier than human flesh. A win-win for both. Well now that I got my sketching of the drawing done, it's on to the line art. But wait, the coloring too? Yes, I decided to try a new approach with this drawing. I started to work on the horse and I decided to work on different aspects of the horse right away. In this case, I started to work on the body first. I wanted to try and color the line art with colors other than black or really dark gray. In the case of the body, I use a really dark blue with the hair, a really dark green, and so forth with the rest of the drawing. I am not too sure, but I just wanted to do something different. I also just rendered the colors of the parts of the horse right away. I just wanted to see if I can finish the horse before I went ahead. I also did that with the VHS tapes and the children as you will see in a little later. I just wanted to keep the layers in Photoshop under control for me. You see, there are a lot of layers with this drawing. I would even say that this is the most complex drawing I have done in years. To this date, this drawing has the most layers I have ever worked with in Photoshop. Well, let's continue on here. I began to work on the VHS tapes. There really isn't much to say about the VHS tapes. They were pretty easy to do. I would say it was the easiest part of the drawing and the one that took the less time. However, the work I did on the VHS tapes were pretty tedious. I was trying to work in some shortcuts to making the tape cases and the tape itself. But in the end, I just found the simplest way to draw them was the best way. Like I said, it didn't take too long to do. Well, it was on to the children. I started off with the little boy getting on the horse's back. This was the part where I didn't know how to draw this. I looked on Google of little children on horseback. I found one where there was a boy on the horse's back just, well, somewhat like this. Well, I did go back and forth between the boy and the girl, starting off with the skin tones and moving on to the hair, and again so forth. I was fully rendering the coloring, trying to keep the layers mostly under control for me, trying to categorize and organize the layers because there are so many layers. 
but overall I felt that by now the drawing was really starting to come to shape for me. Now it was on to the background, or in this case the setting of the picture. I needed to really work on the tree in the foreground first. You see I had an issue that I needed to figure out. I wanted a quick way to do the leaves on the tree. The simple way I was used to in the past I felt wasn't right for this drawing. Off camera I decided to experiment in Photoshop and build my own custom brush for the leaves of the tree. It was an interesting experiment and one I feel produced some nice results I think. It's time to add in a bit of shading to the tree to make it pop out a bit and it's on to the rest of this background. The rest of the background was I think pretty easy to do. I built a simple sketch to see how it would look to me from my mind. Then it was on to the building of the trees. Once again it was pretty easy with my new leaf brush that I built. I scaled it down and I felt that it worked out really great. But I got stumped again when I came to the grass. I could sit there with my default round brush in Photoshop and do each strand of grass one by one. But that will take forever. So once again I built my own brush in Photoshop to do most of the work for me. Building the brush was pretty easy and it took no time at all when I knew what I was looking for. After that it was just filling in the area with the settings I chose and in the end I think it looks pretty good. I did have to go in and blend in some parts at a later time because some areas just didn't look right. Well it's on to the water of the scene. This went pretty quickly. I was beginning to channel my inner Bob Ross with this part. Adding in the white lines to break up the shore of the riverbank and along the foreground where the horse's hooves are and the VHS tapes. Then it was onto the ground where everyone is standing. This also went pretty quickly. Using the new grass brush I made also came in pretty handy with this part. Well, looks like we are getting to the end of the drawing. Let's add in a reflection in the water of the background I drew. Let's just do a few adjustments to make it look just right and not overpower the background. Just slight enough to make it look reflective. I think I got that pretty good. Let's add in the shadows to blend in the characters into the scene. I think doing this makes them become part of the scene and not make them placed in. I think that looks just right. What do you think? And because I am in some ways a comic fan at heart, let's add in some speech bubbles to tie in the story of this drawing. Let's contact Greenfly and schedule a meet so I can show him what I have done with the prompts he gave me and get his reaction. Let's do this. Well, hello, how are you? <laughs> yes, hello. I've actually seen you first time, actually, as well. I actually talked yes. to you as well, so. I know, right? <laughs> Doing and all the email. I know, I'll like, publish the email and then Disco and server, and actually also doing a collab as well with you as well, which has been. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a lot a lot of firsts definitely a lot of firsts that's for sure definitely definitely yes so i guess we should really go into um i guess uh should i show you mine first or do you want to show me what you what you've you've got sure i i could definitely show you first um how do we want to send this There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That is, that, that is, that's really cool. That is really cool. <laughs> uh, oh, you've got, yeah, you absolutely, yeah, you've got absolutely, you've definitely nailed it, that's for sure. And the tape recorder, oh my God, the VHS is as well. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, these are so, oh, these are so better than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is oh, that is really cool. That is awesome. Nice, glad you like that. <laughs> right, well, I better show you what I worked on. Um, right, well, so I worked with the props that you gave me, and this is this is what I. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. But uh, no, yeah. I abs I absolutely had a lot of fun doing this. This was uh, this was definitely a challenge. I will admit, there's definitely things I would absolutely not pick whatsoever. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, anything. Know, right? Like when I heard of this, this is a thing, and I was like, okay, then this is gonna be. 
Uh, this is definitely going to be interesting, but I absolutely had a lot of fun doing this. This was uh, this was yes. fantastic doing this. It was, it was lots of fun. It was a good step out of the comfort zone sort of thing for me. That too, too so, as well. Yes. Like, um, mm -hmm. I haven't done a proper collab before. So this, even doing this is like actually a first proper collab as well. This is, was definitely a good experience as well. So yeah, definitely a good experience. Definitely. I enjoyed this so much. <laughs> And uh, I definitely, I definitely look forward to doing definitely more collabs, and maybe heck, maybe even doing something in the future, possibly, maybe later down the line. So, oh, definitely, I had so much fun with this one. I would definitely be open for doing another collab with you. I will bet the whole thing was when I realized it's always the time zones. You always then remember, oh wait, the time zones. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> I know, because I'm like here for me it's like the middle of the afternoon it's, a, it's like just beginning the afternoon it's like noon your day's right just now. starting and i'm heading to bed that that was the <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> but anyway um, i want to honestly thank you again for agreeing to this collab as well this was oh, you're this, welcome this, it this was, was so much fun this was a lot of fun to do and i really do hope to do something again like this. i enjoyed it so much very good nice working with you <laughs> same here, same here. I look forward to working with you in the future. I felt that was awesome. I really want to do this again someday, whether it be with Greenfly or someone else. Maybe it could be you. Well anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this video. This video was a challenge and definitely something out of my comfort zone. Be sure to go over to Greenfly's video and see the prompts I gave him and see what he did. Link is at the bottom of this video, so go check it out because this video is done. Well, please like my video and also hit that subscribe button to see more of what I do in the future. With that, I thank you much for watching this far, and we shall see you in the next video. Thanks and bye-bye.